Okay, here's another one, another injury question. My wife has a gymnastics background and has had a total of five knee surgeries. Jeez. They've consisted of three surgeries on one knee and two on the other, and it's been a combination of ACL and meniscus issues. She probably had a bunch of unnecessary surgery on her knees. Mm-hmm. Meniscus shit is operated on all the time for no good reason used to be more than it is now but so anyway uh she's trained fairly hard with weights for the past seven years and her knees have held up well until recently she says that one of them now feels quite loose more than it has in the last seven years she did have an mri and there's a slight acl tear in the loose knee she then visited with a doctor about the MRI. He ran a couple other manual tests on her knees and probably hurt her while he was doing it. Right. Draw sign test will hurt your knee. And said that her ACLs are dysfunctional despite the tear. Dysfunctional despite, despite the tear. Despite the tear. So that doesn't make any sense. No. So now I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. Okay. This is one of the limitations of a paper question for something like this. He then stated that she should no longer do squats with a barbell. Have you ever come across someone with dysfunctional ACLs, or is this doc full of it? What are your overall thoughts? Well, I have a dysfunctional ACL in my right knee because it's gone. I've got two dysfunctional ACLs. Everybody has, I mean, (laughs) everybody playing in the NFL right now, in the NFL right now has got a dysfunctional ACL. Yep. And it doesn't make a shit. Yeah, it's not the problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. As long as your hamstrings are strong, your ACLs can be gone and the knee be stable. Now, how do we get our AC, our hamstrings strong? Can you think of a way to do that? RDLs. RDLs. <laughs> Leg curls. Uh, Leg curls. Oh, yes. Oh, that's yeah, that's terribly effective. <laughs> Bulgarian split squats. Bulgarian split squats. No, that's, that's functional quiet. training of some sort, right? Yeah. No, the way you get your your hamstring strong is you deadlift and squat. Now you have to squat correctly, all right. And in the case of your wife here, uh, maybe she's not got a vertical enough shin at the bottom of the squat to throw the load onto the hamstrings and off of the connective tissues of the knee because that's one of the reasons we coach the squat that way but by the same token i don't know what the hell's wrong here because the way you you articulated this problem acl her acls are dysfunctional despite the tear well the tear makes them dysfunctional right so despite is not a useful descriptor here. yeah so i i don't know I don't have any idea. Well, she's got a tear. Her ACL's fucked up. She got a tear. Her ACL's is, fucked up. Doesn't make any difference. You squat, and the knee is loose. None of that. None of that matters. None of that makes any difference if you're squatting correctly. So you know, there's very few people. You know, I can think two that I've ever known who's who's uh, experiences that squatting does not make their knees feel better. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the only time that squats squatting. would not correctly squatting the yeah. way we teach yeah, the squat we're, we're would not make right. your knees feel better is if you had a big fat dose of chondromalacia, which is the loss of the cartilage right. on the articular side exactly. of the patella. Exactly. Other than that, I don't know, man. I've been squatting without an ACL for about thirty years, and I haven't had any trouble with it. This week on Starting Strength Radio, we're going to do one of our famous paper Q&As. That's where you write questions to us on the network, and we answer them. Now, we're going to preface that with a particularly caustic group of comments from the haters this time. I don't understand how you people can live with yourselves after saying nasty things to me like you have said this time. But, you know, we'll read them anyway because it's fun. Uh, but you know, why don't you join the network? You people join the network. It's seventy-five dollars a year, twenty cents a day, for the finest entertainment available on the internet, except for high-quality porn. Starting Shrink Radio goes hot this Friday. You be there. 